Hi friends, this is Rakesh and today we are going to know how to use the CAD configuration manager to configure geometrical interfaces for uh, mechanical APDL and ANSYS workbench and ICEM CFD direct CAD interface. So, a CAD configuration is uh, usually handled over uh, when you are uh, installing uh, the ANSYS software itself, uh, but uh, 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 if you choose to skip those steps now, you can use the CAD configuration manager in order to create uh, the direct uh, CAD interfaces. So now, uh, can also run the CAD configuration manager as an administrative or a non-administrative user also and now we are going to see uh, how to install uh, different uh, how to install different CAD interfaces using CAD configuration manager so for this example I have chosen SOLIDWORKS uh, here uh, I have not configured uh, ANSI, uh, a direct workbench interface uh, during the ANSYS installation so there is no ANSYS uh, tab present over in the SOLIDWORKS uh, now I will be using CAD configuration manager in order to configure a workbench uh, direct interface for that I will be going into the start menu and going to all programs and going into the ANSYS folder and then going into the ANSYS uh, utilities folder and there I will be clicking on the CAD configuration manager so now if you see uh, there are different tabs in the ANSYS CAD uh, configuration manager there are the CAD uh, Creo Parametric and MX Team Center and CAD configuration so what is Creo Parametric is uh, nothing but if you have a PROI installed over uh, in your computer you can just browse and give the link uh, uh, to the folder where it uh, is installed uh, so that uh, there is a configuration uh, uh, done between uh, ProE and ANSYS so now I, I will be clicking on uh, this for annex this is, uh, for ProE this is for annex and this is a team center that was that is a product that is uh, uh, supplied by dissolved gas systems which is a uh, or same uh, it's a type of uh, file management system uh, so we are going in, uh, into the CAD selection and here it says uh, it asks for two types of uh, options first one we if we want to provide a workbench and ANSYS geometry interfaces whether we want to provide ICEM CFD direct CAD interfaces so, uh, I want to provide both so I will be uh, clicking on uh, two of them and now if you see after clicking over them or after selecting these options uh, the CAD products have been highlighted so what happens is that if we can select for what software uh, that the interface uh, uh, that the CAD uh, interface uh, uh, we want so for now I will be using I will be doing for inventor and I will be doing for solid so here there are uh, two types of uh, options one is the reader uh, if you select the reader option uh, ANSYS will install a, a reader uh, file uh, which reads the inventor native files but uh, the uh, reading and importing the native uh, native uh, inventor files uh, without uh, any installation of the inventor present on the computer if you say it's uh, to be a workbench associated interface then the uh, CAD Autodesk inventor software should be present uh, and should be installed right now while you are configuring for this uh, so software so I have selected uh, both SOLIDWORKS and inventor and I have selected both associated interfaces so I'll be clicking on the next and it comes into the CAD configuration tab and now uh, we'll be clicking on configure select the CAD interfaces and then it shows that the configuration is uh, in process so what it says is that uh, the workbench plugin uh, failed 
due to some registration error. So for this, I will be clicking. Uh, I will be just exiting on that uh, cat configuration manager, and I will be closing this. Uh, uh, I will be going into the ANSYS ANSYS and and uh, you click this folder, and I click on it, and. Uh, Okay. and uh, say run as administrator and uh, click on us and uh, I will be uh, selecting both in one way and the sun works now and uh, I will be clicking on set and uh, keep on select from creation so here it says uh, the SOLIDWORKS and Outdesk Inventor Workbench plugin has been uh, configured successfully so now I will be using using it and uh, now we will uh, open solidworks and uh, see whether this uh, auto the ANSYS uh, interface uh, uh, is present or not uh, if you see uh, now if you observe uh, before there was no ANSYS 15 tab over on the sol present on the solidworks uh, window now as we configure the uh, interface uh, direct interface with the ANSYS workbench and ANSYS mechanical APDL there comes the ANSYS uh, direct associative interface so for now thank you Bye.